Hello fellow astrophotographers. So it's time for uh, first light with uh, William Optics 71 millimeters uh, Red Cat. I have prepared the uh, autofocusing solution based on our autofocuser 3 for this uh, test. I've also used our field rotator to frame the target with ease and automatically without manual rotator. And we will try to do some Pleiades M45 imaging tonight. It's gonna be clear. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so actually the first night I imaged um, I did not get a lot of data because um, after I did a few test frames I have noticed that uh, there is some tilt in the imaging train. This right image um, is from the first night and if we look closer we can see that uh, the bottom left corner and a bit of top left corner are out of focus even uh, when running the focusing uh, process a few times and double checking everything is set up correctly. Um, so the first night uh, was mostly figuring out uh, where the tilt is and by doing uh, um, a few a few steps to pin down where the problem is I found out that the tilt is in the front of uh, the field rotator and camera and on the side of the telescope um, then I had to figure out which part of the tilt plate has to be adjusted uh, I can make a video about this process if you wish uh, drop a comment below um, and after I spent an hour or two figuring out and adjusting the tilt plate, um, it of course got clouded, so I couldn't uh, test the results. But next night, when I started imaging again, voila, this was the frame. Looking much better, maybe some residual tilt but nothing uh, nothing that would uh, be very well noticeable especially after stacking uh, the images so after i did that i imaged with the telescope two nights in a row but uh, i had to throw away like half of the data because we had some fog um, which is quite common in the autumn here <clears throat> and I was left with about 150 frames in the end of uh, 60 second exposures I stacked that today and I must say I am pretty pleased with the result this is the stacked uncropped data you can see that there is very little of throwaway data and I already processed it a bit like so and if we zoom in a bit there is of course still some post process required to reduce the gradients and the noise but we can see that the corners are pretty nice except for this uh, star flare i have to figure out how to remove this for the next imaging probably with some uh, aperture masks and the last one this one was problematic looks good i'm quite pleased with the optics i will of course do more tests when the conditions improve now we are back to the rain so no more chances to do further testing this week but first light is quite impressive I really like the telescope it's well built um, tilt plate uh, enabled me to adjust the imaging train and get nice pinpoint stars um, I used field rotator we released this year to frame the Pleiades uh, the way I like and our autofocuser 3 to 
get pinpoint stars. For flat frames, of course, I used our motorized flat panel. And that's about it for now. Stay tuned and let me know if you would like to see the tutorial regarding the tilt adjustment of your RedCut telescope.